Next, the revival of a modern classic of American theater, Sam Shepard's True West. The play has been a magnet for great actors since it was written in 1980. At the famed Sardi's restaurant, Jeffrey Brown recently spoke to the latest duo to take it on. It is part of our regular series covering arts and culture, Canvas. I want something of value. You got anything of value, Lee? True West is a tale of sibling rivalry spiraling to the breaking point. I am about to kick your ass out of here in one minute. Oh, now you're going to kick me out. Oh, oh, now I'm the intruder. Going at it nightly in a new Broadway production by the Roundabout Theater, 48-year-old Ethan Hawke as Lee, menacing a petty criminal and drifter and Paul Dano, 34, as Austin, a buttoned-up, straight-arrow Hollywood screenwriter. Two brothers locked in a psychological and eventually physical battle of wills while house-sitting their mother's Southern California home. Hawk was first approached about the revival several years ago. I was planning to say I'm the wrong guy, and between the phone call to plan the meeting and the meeting, Sam passed, you know? So the meeting took on a whole different tone. Sam is Sam Shepard, the Pulitzer Prize-winning playwright and actor who died in 2017 and was known for his portrayals of rootless characters making their way at the fringes of the American dream. True West, which premiered in 1980, is considered one of his masterworks and has seen notable stagings, including on Broadway in 2000 with Philip Seymour Hoffman and John C. Riley and an earlier production at the Steppenwolf Theater in Chicago with John Malkovich and Gary Sinise. You don't understand the way things work down here, Lee. How do things work down here? One that was filmed and shown on PBS, where a 14-year-old Ethan Hawke first saw it. And I had seen or heard nothing like this play. And it was half rock concert, half, I didn't know whether it was Malkovich, I love, you know, Steppenwolf or Sam Shepard or was it the Hank Williams song in the beginning? <laughs> what was it that was so good? But it did something to you. It did something and then I went to the library and I got seven plays and, you, you know, and I just started chasing all this stuff. I've been writing the more times I've read the play, including throughout our entire process, the more uh, there was yeah. to be mined and that's the most exciting thing. Sam Shepard is unbelievably funny and yeah. he's a deeply spiritual man and he's uh, got a profound sensibility about America, and it's not knee-jerk macho, it's many, many things. He, he said it was the most authentic Western he'd come across in a decade. He liked that story, yeah. your story. Yeah, what is so surprising about that? It's stupid. <laughs> As the play it's develops, the, the brothers' roles shift. Life. Hey, that's my story we're talking. It's idiotic. Two lame brains chasing each other across Texas. Are you kidding? With older brother Lee encroaching into his brother's turf, writing, with unexpected and unwelcome success. Who do you think's gonna see a film like that? All right, first off, it's not a film. All right, it's a movie. That's something Saul told me. Oh, he did, huh? Yeah. Sam is trying to write about a self. It's not that Austin and Lee are the same self, but each self is hurt and fractured, and we get these double natures. You know, there's these aspects that are spinning around and creating these cyclical, yeah. you know, cyclone that these guys are caught in. Yeah. yeah, and parts of ourselves that we reject or that we're afraid of or... Running from. Yeah. By the second act, much alcohol has been consumed and mayhem ensues. The actors working with director James McDonald had to decide how to play it. That's not a scene that when I read the play that I can fully comprehend or dream until we're throwing ourselves around and getting lost in. Yeah. Uh, so that, the way that stuff developed um, is really, uh, was fun, was challenging. And God, we're so drunk by that point in the yeah. play. Yeah, I know. Each scene we get a little drunker and a little yeah. drunker. And it, you start to feel drunker and drunk. You know, it's, it's a hypnosis. If Nina Simone sings, what, what makes her great is she hypnotizes herself. And our job up there is to hypnotize ourselves and just be inside this play. And that's why we rehearse a lot. Yeah. So you can get a little lost and still, and still not hurt each other. Theater's thousands of years old. And there's something 
exciting about being a part of an ancient form. Indeed, Huck and Dano both started acting very young and have sought a variety of different kinds of artistic experience. When do we get our money, Daniel? Hawk has appeared in more than 70 films of all kinds, including a widely acclaimed performance in last year's First Reform. Well, somebody has to do something. He directs films and plays and has written three novels. Dano, who first appeared on Broadway at age 12 and is known for films such as Little Miss Sunshine and Love and Mercy, made his directorial debut last year with the film Wildlife, an adaptation of the novel by Richard Ford. Making a film is something I've wanted to do for a long time, and I was, I'm so happy I got to go do it, you know, and, and your brain just starts to dream that way. It is about learning, um, and that still is probably one of the parts that gets me off the most, is trying to figure out how to do it. The great challenge in an actor's life is we're all only as good as our opportunity. And you see something, a piece of art on a very high level, it's a little bit like a a North Star or something where you go like, oh, right. I want to be a part of that and I want to do that and I know I'm not doing that at a high enough level yet. And so you just go back to work. True West runs through March 17th at the American Airlines Theater. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Jeffrey Brown on Broadway.